Okay, welcome back. Well, my next guest is out here already. He's the only man whose voice registers on the Richter scale. Have a look at him in action. Here he is. Such a pleasure to be here. And the fact that she just said she worked with Scorsese, I passed out. Well, hey, <laughs> hey, fatty, put down that cake. <laughs> and then, and then, then she talks talking about overweight people and then that blew it. <laughs> I'm not overweight, I'm big boned. Yeah, well, we wouldn't have you any other way, sir. <laughs> uh, so how long have you been on the road for now? How long have you been performing live? How long have you been doing your, your uh, this show. is my uh, 47th year. Wow, 47 years on the road. Yeah. Man, that's incredible. That's incredible. And, you and still... uh, I, I know if you're really into your craft and really um, motivated, you'll do anything. I was homeless for nine months. Wow. To, uh, I lived up above the Magic Castle. And I started out with sleeping bag and managed to get enough money to buy a tent. We should point out the Magic Castle is an actual place in Los yes. Angeles, not some sort of dream thing. No, <laughs> it's, it's, it's a I was above a Magic Castle <laughs> with a fairy and a pixie. Yeah. Uh, it's a place in that, and that, so you're up in the hills above that. You were living right in the hills. I was. The only thing I had to fight off was the coyotes. Wow, but they are, they're actually up there, aren't they? This yeah, they're game. up there. Yeah, they come around you yeah. too. Yeah. They come up there. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm going to give you an exclusive. Okay. And I, I got permission to do this. Is this, uh, this isn't coyote related though, I imagine, no, is it? No, no, <laughs> no, it's not coyote. Uh, people been asking now for years because uh, Jim Steinman and I worked on Bat Out of Hell together sure. and we worked on Bat 2 together and we sort of worked on Dead Ringer together. And by the way, that little video you showed of Cher a minute ago, uh, I didn't realize till, the, till we started looking back at the photo shoot she wasn't wearing underwear. And, uh, well, we have a was... photograph of the kind of outfit yeah, yeah, she yeah, had yeah. on, I think. So, we... That's so, that's so unnecessary. Yeah. <laughs> and that looks painful as well. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, people have been asking for you, and this is, the, this is on your show. Wait, wait a second, thing. because oh, okay. I want them to listen to this, and there's still, still a shockwave going around <laughs> from Cher. <Shea. laughs> oh, but, but it's OK, I'm not wearing underwear either. <laughs> Good. OK, so here's your exclusive. No, take that picture down. It's going to give people nightmares. Uh, so this is so, so Jim Steinman. And I think the collaborations between the two of you, that's produced his best work and some of your best work oh, as well. It's, it, it, we, we were, it's produced both of our best works. Yeah. So we've been communicating back and forth for the last six months every day by email. And we're going to work together again. Wow. I'm not allowed to tell you the title, Jim said. But we are working together, and we're working together on another song, and I'm twisting his arm for the third one. So you're, so you're hoping to get a whole album out of him, I guess, aren't you? Uh, no, nah, I won't get a whole album out Dude, of him. what's wrong with this guy? Why doesn't he want a whole album? What's wrong with him? He, is he lazy? We, no, he's not lazy. <laughs> oh, what's it, was he stupid? He's an artist. <laughs> he's an artist, but come on. He knows we want to hear more from you guys together. Uh, yeah, but... You he, want, he, you're prepared to work with him. I'm, yeah, we've been prepared to work, but it... He's very slow. Give him a shake or something. I, I, Give him a cake. Okay, <laughs> that's it. <laughs> when do we get to hear this uh, new track? Uh, we haven't recorded it yet, presumably. It, no, we haven't recorded it. It'll probably be uh, in September 2014. What the f <laughs> I'm telling that's, that's you, almost two years away. That's not slow, that's glacial. That's like the ice age creeping back. We, we've cut three tracks, we're getting ready to cut three more, and then we're hopefully cut three with Steinman, and then we start in January with Jimmy. That must be driving you crazy. 
uh, Jimmy always drives me crazy, but yeah. I drive him crazy too. And you enjoy, I mean, you, I know you're an actor as well as a, a singer. Yeah, I like that. I'm getting ready to do uh, my 60th film called uh, Perfect Stranger. Wow, 60 movies. Yeah. <laughs> we put a photograph up of Fight Club there where you're talking, and I think people that haven't seen it will be surprised at uh, the way you look in that because you're recovering uh, victim of, is of cancer that you've had and then because of the drugs you're on, you've grown breasts in this Oh, yeah. Thing. But that suit... It cover went from here to here, weighed 44 pounds. Wow. The breast were 28 pounds. Wow. That's a lot of breastage. Oh, that's a lot. <laughs> and I'm telling you, ever since then, I see women with large breasts, and I feel, I go, oh, God, their neck's got to be killing them. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so they invented a harness How for was me. it having breasts? Did you enjoy having breasts? Not particularly. <laughs> How, did other people react strangely oh, to the rest? You think? <laughs> yeah, I walk on set and everybody would come up and go. <laughs> <laughs> it didn't make any different. Women, oh, hey, 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 hey. <laughs> Brad Pitt, oh, meat, meat, meat. <laughs> Ed Norton, oh, look at them things. <laughs> everybody wanted to touch them. You've never been so popular. <laughs> no, you know, and I, I, that's what I figured. The world wants to go around and touch every, every woman's <laughs> breast. Um, <laughs> I avoid that. Uh, well, you, legally, you have to. Um, <laughs> hey, me, it's great to see you again. Uh, when you're back over in the UK, I know I've got some dates here, uh, you're going to be doing Ireland, uh, 14th of May in Dublin, 17th of May, then Nottingham again. You're picking up that gig, uh, doing Manchester as and well. And Manchester on the 25th. You and particularly and like Ireland, don't you? Ireland, you're very fond of Ireland. I am very fond of Ireland. I like Ireland a lot. I'm very fond of the UK a lot. Uh, they like me here, I like them. We do like you here, I, I'm glad I, you're back. I love you, people. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Meatloaf. Okay, it's the moment you've been waiting for. We're going to try and uh, eat as many Jaffa cakes as we can in a minute. Who knows, we might make the record books, we might not. I've got to be Andre's record. I think it was eight, he said earlier, and we'll find out. Will you welcome them back? Mr. Peter Andre, Russell Tovey, and Joanna Lumley. Come on out, guys. Let's go over there. Come on up, meet the students. Okay, so. Here we go. How long did you minute? One minute. One minute. You have one minute. Are you ready? <laughs> On your marks. Get set. Go! Go! <laughs> We didn't have someone down here counting. They've been counting upstairs. The results are coming in now. OK, give them to me in no particular order. <laughs> P8, how many? What? P8, 12 Jaffa cakes. Oh. In one oh. OK. And I ate... No, I did not only eat 11. <laughs> no, I didn't eat 11. I demand a recount. I demand a recount. I demand a recount. No, 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 they, they screwed me. OK, Peter Andre, the Jaffa Cake champion, ladies and gentlemen, to give it to you. Well done. Who did it? He said Jaffa. 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 OK, thanks to all my guests tonight. Thank you, Peter, Russell, Joanna, and, of course, Meatloaf. Thank you, sir. Thanks to you for watching. Next week, I'll be joined by Spock and Uhura from the massive new Star Trek movie. That's Zachary Quinto and Zoe Saldana. Brilliant young comedian Russell Howard, the cheeky star of The Chase, will be here, Bradley Walsh. And we'll also have music from Radiohead legend Tom York. But now, performing their number one single, Waiting All Night, featuring the fabulous Ella Eyre on vocals, it is Rudimental. <laughs> Oh, you did.
weekend a royal visit and a murder at a factory brings young detective constable morse to the case there's new drama tomorrow night endeavor is at eight before the best of british theater is out for the 2013 olivier awards at 10:15. next tonight arnie stars in commando